all righty so the first video which i did on a treadmill got screwed up so i had to do it over um i want to talk to you guys about going through the gauntlet uh, when you start a business you're going to create new energy you're going to create a lot of disruption in the universe and you got to push through i know it's going to be hard it's going to be really really hard to to push through to keep it going but you you got to do that because i'm about to tell you um me starting this new business has illustrated to me what you guys will be going through because i've been starting internet businesses and you know typically i've become really good at starting internet businesses and making money online and starting a new business offline going through the struggle the changes is going to help me create better training for you because it's been a while through this and you know um one of the things like last night i was in bed at eight because i was tired and also you know i was asking myself these questions like do you really want to do this because i'm in a good spot and you know this is the hassle factor is really high the hassle factor with the rentals with the buying of the cars trying to rent an office you know there, there's so many complex parts to setting this up and my neighbors were tripping i will never ever live in a place with an hoa i knew there was an hoa but with my hoa you can only have four cars i'm like what seriously and um I also found out something else too that I have a lot of jealous bitches as neighbors who don't have the intellect or the ability to make seven figures from home. So there's a little bit of shade being thrown my way because essentially what I did wasn't a huge problem. It really wasn't a huge problem because, uh, I mean, they just went ape shit, lost their shit because I had eight cars in my driveway. And th this is the way, the way my driveway is, you actually have to drive by the house a certain way to see the cars because the driveway's angled. So you couldn't even see them. And I was just sitting there like, this is crazy. And you know, that's kind of part of the challenge of starting a new business. Cause you know, like last night I was in bed at eight and I was just asking myself yesterday, was it is it is it worth all this because essentially i have found out that some of my neighbors are jealous fucks who don't have the intellect or the ability to make the kind of money that i do from home and they have to go out and get in traffic and do all the other stuff but one of the things that has come from this is i am moving because houses are selling so i'm moving in a few months um part of this and let's kind of keep it back on topic of you starting a business of you going ahead and doing those things um i'm here to tell you it is worth it it is it is worth it because this has happened to me before and each time this happens this proceeds a hyper jump in growth Last time this happened, I was there on YouTube. I was pushing my storage auction product and I had people do four hour hangouts about me. Um, this this is one of the things, you know, it, it's happened again. Graham Stevens, the crypto queen and all these other folks are trying to come for me because I'm telling you guys the truth. I'm telling you the truth and I'm backing it up with stats, statistics in numbers in their websites i'm backing it up and essentially uh one of the things that you guys have got to understand is you're trying to start your businesses too quick because uh i'm about to sit back 
and do experiments for two months with this car business. And let me go ahead and give you the thesis because essentially I've been starting internet businesses and I haven't started a regular business in long, 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 long time, 12 years plus. So I'm gonna run an experiment and I'm gonna, the experiments go like hire a car, renting the cars out, that happens like that. There's, uh, I've, I've talked to a few people on hire car. The quality is not the best on hire car. And essentially I got three cars rented on hire car really, really quick. So I can essentially get a car and put it on hire car and it'll be gone in a day or two. Toro, not so much. I've got three cars on Toro. I gotta put a fourth one on there. I gotta do some stuff to it. Um, so we will get that on there. But essentially, let, let's go ahead and talk about this because once again, I'm so used to starting internet businesses, right? And internet businesses are quick. They're quick. You can get them started, you can start making money very, very quickly. So, what I am going to uh, do with this car business, and I'm about to give it to you, is with this car business, I'm going to do a two month experiment, and at the end of the two months, because I'll have the titles to all the cars, uh, depending upon the data that I get, because uh, watching these Turo videos, there's a few people who give you honest assessment and there are some people who are not in Georgia and if you're in Georgia um, the Turo business is different than the Turo business in California and you know that that's some so there's a group of people that are telling it based upon their perspective and what is happening so I found out a lot of the Turo videos are a little suspect and also with Turo you know like this whole thing with the GPS kill switch. No one addresses that because that's like a $600 add-on to your car. That's a $600 add-on to your car to get that installed. And also, um, that's like if you, you're doing a buy here, pay here, I would actually have to find the shop to put these switches in because essentially I'll be buying a lot of the cars and I would be putting these switches in. Uh, so that's something else I got to figure out. But essentially, the challenge that's been really good for me that's going to help you is I've got to solve a lot of problems. I got to solve a lot of problems, and I got to solve these problems quickly. Like one problem I want to solve, and I'm going to find it because there, there's rental companies out there who rent cars and they, they, they have insurance. So I called my insurance agent and asked and she gave me a, a referral and I got to call around some brokers because this is something else that has evolved from, you know, just two weeks. I mean, this, like, really, this is the first week that I've got this information. There's a lot of people who are renting cars. They're not doing Uber or DoorDash. I mean, they're not doing Uber or Lyft. They're doing DoorDash and Grubhub. And right now you can make 1500 bucks a week doing Grubhub here in Atlanta. So I'm getting information that I didn't know because here's a thesis I came up with based upon the information that I have now. If I was to go out and buy a $2,000 car and rent it out for 20 bucks a day and was able to have the insurance paid for, you know, get a master insurance policy that would cover me for rentals and stuff, um, I can go out and buy 40 cars and put them on the road. That's twelve thousand uh, dollars a month, and well, forty thousand. That's twenty cars. That's twelve thousand dollars a month, and the cars are paid off in four months. And then I can sell them in the buy here, pay here lot, real easy. So that's one of my projects. But one of the things that I want you guys to understand is when you start your business, you're going to go through the gauntlet. Um, some of the things that are going to happen to you is some people may just stop talking to you. I mean, seriously, they may just stop talking to you because when you create a new business and your energy gets to a certain level, this creates disharmony for your energy level. This creates um, you disruptive because essentially when you create a business, start a business, you are growing as a person. 
and this you know like um, my neighbors they found the YouTube channel and this is what's funny this is what's really funny my neighbors who are on my end because essentially when you come up to the subdivision you come up a hill and then there's one two three four houses right so those are the only houses that can actually the houses on this side can't even see my driveway and I went to my neighbors and the folks on my end aren't the folks who've been complaining it's been folks who literally have to get in their car drive up the hill and to look at my driveway because they can't see it from their house they can't see it from their house and this is where most of the noise is coming from and um, there, there's been a few other events and this this is why I'm out I'm, 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 I'm moving in about four or five months I will be out and because uh, essentially one of the big issues is that when you start to make yourself better creating a business you know like I'm too busy in my business to be in someone else's business I don't know what anyone else is doing I don't have time I'm, I'm too busy minding my own business and essentially what happens is when you create your own business you have a lot of people who will get in your business they'll just get in your business they'll be like what are you doing how are you doing it because they don't have nothing else going on in their lives like these jealous bitches in my neighborhood I mean yeah I'm black yeah, I make more money than you. I know. Deal with it. I know that's a problem because a lot of the folks in my neighborhood have fancy degrees. Many of them have graduate degrees and they work a job and they don't make as much money as I do. I got to say that for some of them, it's a problem because I make more money here on YouTube than they do busting their hump, getting in their car, going to a job. It's kind of funny. And uh, I feel that a lot of the noise is jealousy. And I get a lot of jealousy because I'm living life on my terms, doing what I want to do, enjoying life. Live, just, you know, I'm living life on my terms. I am not beholden to people like other people are. And I think that that really, really irks some people. And you know what? They're about to be madder because I'm about to get better. Because essentially, I enjoy pissing off people by being successful. I love that. It's like, so let me understand this. I go ahead and I display my greatness and I build myself up and I become successful. I'm enjoying life. I'm helping people and I'm making money and you mad. I love that. I'm like, you You think you mad now? Oh, you about to be really mad. Because um, I'm about to do it up. Because I'm about to go harder. Because essentially, I have my YouTube business. I have my online course business. I have the car rental business that's developing. You know, we're still sorting that out. I'm going to have the car sales business. And I'm going to have an apparel business. So I'm going to have five revenue streams. Five revenue streams. And that, that is what's coming your way very soon. Because, um, you know, like I said, yesterday I got tired. I was just like, it was a long week. And, you know, I got to a point where I was like, man, I'm going to just sell these cars and go back to my cushy life, right? And I was like, you know what? That was me being mentally weak. I have those moments. I almost quit YouTube due to this kind of stuff. Due to this kind of stuff, I had to do the Ben Franklin graph. Now, what the Ben Franklin graph is, you take the graph and um, you draw, you put, you know, you put your situation at the top and you draw a line and you draw a line down here. You know, you, you create a T graph. And on one side, you put the pros. On the other side, you put the cons, right? And I did that for the YouTube back in the day because I, I was about to give up YouTube because they were like literally it was every day they were making fake channels to harass the people who were uh, leaving positive comments on my channel I mean it was something ridiculous it was ridiculous and I was just like man I don't need this and I, I did the analytical thing and I was like you know I, I'm making money I'm helping people I'm having fun 
and you know, and the only con was the haters. So I don't even have to do the Ben Franklin graft this time. I already know that I'm gonna keep on, I'm gonna keep making content, I'm gonna keep creating courses, I'm gonna keep making money. I'm gonna keep making money because um, essentially, you know, what has happened this week, I am going to move, and th this is one of the things, I'm gonna try penthouse living for a year or two years. Then I'll probably come back to Sandy Screens and buy a house and pay cash for it. Unlike most of the jealous fucks in my neighborhood who are, have a mortgage. Um, so one of the things that I will do is this is the plan. Since I'll be moving to the high rise, I can't take the home gym with me. So I got to sell the treadmill. I got to sell like I'm not doing that anytime soon. Uh, I'm going to have a big sale and I'm going to sell all of the weightlifting equipment and stuff. And I'm pretty much probably going to sell everything in the house and just go ahead and buy new furniture for the, the penthouse. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Go ahead and get me an interior designer, hook that up real sweet, have it swank, have it swank and do that because I am up out of here because this is just foolishness. And I don't have time for foolishness because one of the things that I have to understand is you gotta, you gotta keep moving. You gotta keep moving. And I, I'm not going to allow these fools, these jealous bitches, these assholes to dampen my flow. Cause essentially I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna keep building. And I'm going to keep creating. I'm going to keep create keep creating because this is a lesson for you. This is what happens when you become successful. This is what happens when you become successful. You have people who are not as successful as you, who always have something to say, always have an opinion because they can't do what you are doing. When you change your energy man like i said um this happened this has happened before uh i got all these folks who are making youtube videos i've got um my neighbors and always when it, when it, this happens because essentially what i'm what i'm doing is changing my energy you know my energy was youtube videos online course was kind of subdued to a point and now i'm amping up my energy and people are losing it and remember this those who criticize you are always doing less than you remember that anyone that's criticizing you is doing less than you're doing i mean it is crazy what is going on because let me tell you uh, for those in the art of holding and also the art of holding and the corporate, you know, well, you can't get the corporate toolbox, but the art of holding, the price isn't going up because I'm going to put some more content because th this right here is really good for me to create additional training. This is good stuff. I mean, yeah, it's a hassle. I know I've got people who's like, man, he's already rich. Why is he doing this? And essentially, you got to understand, I have a mentor who's like 85 years old. And he's worth $100 million. And he, one of the greatest compliments he ever gave me was when he said, we're different. This man is 85 years old. He gets on the treadmill every morning, then goes upstairs, kisses his wife on the cheek, and takes a shower and goes to the office. And many of his friends are like, why haven't you retired? You don't need to work. You know, many of his friends know his financial position. He doesn't have to work, but he he likes working. And that's kind of my situation because I tried retirement after my first million dollar year. And I was just like, this is for the birds. Just sitting around doing nothing. And uh, my girlfriend, we were having a conversation at dinner. And she said that that retirement thing is for you men folk. Because for a woman, oh, I'll find something to do. If I, I have to work, I'll find something to do. It was real interesting, but essentially what 
has happened, like the last time this happened, um, I made a huge financial jump and I'm expecting to do it again because I'm giving you guys the real details of starting a business from scratch. No fluff, no assumption. Um, there was a video, there, there, there's a video talking about millionaire habits and I immediately like, if you're doing all of this stuff and you don't have a business, guess what? You're not gonna become a millionaire. So the first habit to becoming a millionaire is to start a business. <laughs> I know that that is the quickest path to getting to becoming a millionaire is to start a business. The quickest path is quicker than investing. It's quicker than in crypto. Like, um, let's say back in the day, I bought a hundred bitcoins, right? And it still would have took seven years for it to be seven figures. Seven years. So a business is the quickest path to becoming a millionaire, to making that long green, to building your business. It is the quickest path. But one of the things we're getting ready to do is we're gonna go into some exposés. Um, we're going to get into the finer details of business ownership. Cause like um, I've started my LLC. I've opened up my business banking. I bought cars. Now, here's a challenge. Like, small space, commercial space is going like crack at the moment. A small office is not easy to get, a small office. But uh, I have found a guy who leases office space to car dealers and the building is zoned for car dealerships. So I can go ahead and get my business license. Not, he should know something this Friday that's coming up. I gotta call, call him this Friday. And what I'm gonna do is rent that office. It's only 250 per month. And I'll probably never be there, but I'm gonna rent that office and go ahead and get it set up for my car business. And then I'm going to run, I'm gonna rent, two offices. I'm going to rent another office. Erica, I know it's like rent an office. Like, I don't think you've watched all the videos. I've been trying. <laughs> it's not, it ain't easy right now because smaller office space, like if I wanted, like there's a car dealership space up in Cartersville that if I wanted, I can rent it for 15000 a month, you know? Um, so the large, you know, the, the spaces that I don't need are available. I, I can find them all day long. I can find big buildings. I can find, uh, I don't really need that much space. So I'm not going to um, pull a trigger on that. So I'm probably going to end up renting an uh, office in a spot that I used to rent because I know the people and the parking ain't an issue. I could have a hundred cars in that parking lot and it would not impact the other business owners businesses not at all because they've got that much massive parking spot massive but at the most i would probably have 30 cars there i don't know because i will have an office hopefully i can have the office on the ground floor because essentially th this is the issue like when you when you're used to renting cars you're used to like going into uh an office walking straight in it, it probably won't be like that because it, it could be somewhere in the building but essentially once i get to that level i'm going to hire someone and it's going to be their job to go in check people in to do the pictures i'm going to teach them how to do all this other stuff it's going to be their job to rent the cars because uh right now toro has a thing where you can have someone can rent a car with three hours notice um my life isn't uh, isn't set up where I could be sitting around to wait for three hours, you know, with three hours, then go drop off a car, get the car ready. Because essentially, I got to create a system and process for the cars. Uh, the hire car was pretty easy. And with Turo, uh, folks are going to be expecting a higher level of service. So I got to go ahead and do that. But check this out and this is something that has emerged i don't know if i talked about it in the first part of the video but i'm gonna, I'm gonna expand on it 
if I can get my own insurance, because that seems to be the boogaboo. If I can get my own insurance, do you know I can go ahead and put cars on Toro and only pay them 5%? 5%. So I've got to find my own commercial insurance policy and I'm going to investigate that because check this out. I get my own insurance policy, the floodgates open. I can go out and buy $22,000 cars, right? Make sure they're good cars, make sure they're in working order. And rent them out for 20 bucks a day. I can advertise on Craigslist, hey, you know, you got back. Well, rent this car. Rent this car for 20 bucks a day, which is, you know, insurance included, it's 600 bucks a month. It's a little high, but the average person is paying 500 bucks for a car payment anyway. So go ahead and then that, that changes the game dramatically. That changes the game because then I can advertise and I'm renting cars on Craigslist. Uh, I would do Craigslist, I would do OfferUp, I would do Facebook Marketplace. Fun, fun fact, someone stole my Facebook account and now I'm, I'm, I'm battling to get it back because essentially what they, what they do is if someone like steals your account, you can turn it off so if you're my Facebook friend, you can't see me because it's turned off. And then I have to send in a picture of my photo ID to get my account back because this asshole decided to steal my account. I mean, you know, people be doing stuff, man. They be doing stuff. So we, we should have that back in a few days. Um, just crazy. Like, you know, someone stole my Facebook account. Uh, I remember the first time someone stole my Instagram account. And I didn't really care because I had like multiple Instagram accounts. I really didn't care. And essentially, what people are doing are messing around with your social media accounts. Like, my password for the YouTube account is very unique. It's the only password I use for the YouTube account. I don't use this password anywhere else. And it hasn't been compromised or hacked. And I have two-step auth authentication on it as well. So I'm not worried about that. But yeah, it is it, 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 kind of crazy what is going on. But in the next few months, we're going to be getting into some awesome training. We're going to be getting into some awesome training and I'm going to probably start the YouTube training as well because essentially, you know what? They hate me now for being successful. Oh, they about to be big mad now because I'm about to go harder in the paint. Uh, I'm going to create an apparel business as well. So I've got a lot of stuff that I'm going to be able to teach people train people up on and give you reality because a lot of the people, especially the cryptocurrency people, um, right now, if you're making money with cryptocurrency, you just got lucky. It's not like you're that smart. You know what? Uh, there was a guy who actually tried to start a business and he could not start a business, but he got some cryptocurrency and he's making money. But he couldn't start a business. Hello? The reason that you're making money with cryptocurrency is virtually everyone who's buying cryptocurrency is making money with it. It ain't like you're that smart. You just got lucky. And that 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 I, I piss off people when I say that because a lot of people, and there are bots that are posting on YouTube videos, people will literally be kicking themselves if they don't invest in cryptocurrency. These bots, these, these comments are all over the place, right? And um, one of the things that I want you guys to understand, and we're going to talk about this, if you're in income zone, number one, less than $50,000, starting a small business, an eBay business, a service business, or something like that, is going to benefit you more than investing in stocks or cryptocurrency. Unless you got in early. If you got in early, okay, all right. But everyone did. I was there. 
I remember trying to get people to buy Bitcoin 2013 and nobody was interested. So I know that there wasn't that many early adapters. I know because I was one of them and I was trying to get people to come on in. But no one did it. It wasn't so it wasn't that many people who got in early. Um but one of the things that has happened in this week is it's kind of transformed me because I have not seen my girlfriend all week because I've been working. Um, she'll be over tonight. And one of the things that's happened is I am driven, and I'm internally driven to go ahead and get these things up and going and to build and to create because once again, you know, I need to renew my corporate citizen pledge. You know, 100,000 people start a business, get them to 250,000 because that $250,000 mark is the jumping off point because at that point, you can live on 80, 90,000 a year. That's cash. Pay your taxes and invest almost six figures. At that point, you can become an asset-based millionaire and you can do a lot more. You can build a lot more. You can create a lot more. And one of the things I want you guys to understand is um, the ability to, you can do this. You can do this. You're not gonna do this in a week or a few months. But if you give yourself three years, you can do some amazing things. You can build, you can create, you can, you can literally change your life in three years. Three years. Uh, so I want you guys to really think about the three-year deal. I want you guys to think about uh, actually working hard to facilitate a big change in your life because I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the truth. None of the information that I put on these YouTube channels is gonna hurt you, is gonna harm you, or put you in a bad situation. And the, I, I promise you, I'm not gonna tell you anything. And a lot of people, uh, they don't like the personal finance channel because I'm talking about stuff like, you need to save money. You need to manage your money correctly. You, you know, they want to hear of a hack that will allow them to be financially irresponsible and still live well. That's what they're looking for. And um, this, this, these things with credit, because essentially with the car dealership, because as I do this thesis, because I can tell you uh, the rental business, I'm just beginning. And I want to tell you this from a person who has money, time, and experience. I'm going to give myself a year to get this going. Let's say it takes a year to make six figures. That is really quick. I have money, I have time, I have experience. Yet you got people out here without no money, with no experience, they want to start a business and be making six figures in two, three months. That, that ain't the reality. Like I said, I knew going into this that I had assumptions about the car rental business, about the car business. I had assumptions. I still have assumptions. And what I'm going to do is take those assumptions and then push them into the marketplace and see what the marketplace thinks of those assumptions. See, the marketplace is the arbiter of truth. If you put something in the marketplace and the marketplace says, nah, we don't like that. I don't care how good you, how much you love your ideal. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. The marketplace has said no. And um, one of the things like my thesis with hire car, I was thinking of, you know, getting good, decent cars for Uber drivers. And, you know, essentially the longest rental was the Toyota Camry which was also the cheapest car. So uh, what I'm going to do 
because uh, this, you know, he told me everyone that read the car for hire car said they're going to have it for a while, so we will see. And then, um, one of the things that we have to understand is starting a business is just you and your ideal, and until you actually get active, you don't know. You can be like, man, this is the best ideal. Nobody better not steal my... You don't know until you get active, man. You don't know until you get active. And that's why I want you folks to be active. I want you folks to take action, to take your hypothesis and assumptions and push them into the marketplace because that's going to reveal the truth of whatever you, you got going on in your mind. That's going to reveal the truth. That's going to let you know if what you're working with is going to work. It's going to let you know. It's going to open up the door. It's going to illustrate, you know, do you have a good ideal or a bad ideal? It's going to illustrate. And we're going to do that together because, like I said, the, the price of the art of holding isn't going up. The price of the Fast Start Boot Camp. Once again, training will start Monday. Uh, we will start that again Monday, and we will be rolling into these this new training because essentially, me starting this car business has given me a lot of data points to talk to the students. It's given me because essentially, like I, I'm going to walk through the whole process. I just got my um, ATM card. <laughs> I don't even use ATM cards; they just issue them with your your account. Um, and I got some checks coming, but essentially, um, I'm going to go through the process of getting this business started and get it up and running. And I'm going to tell you guys exactly how to do it because, uh, I got some two row videos I'm going to make. I got some higher car videos because essentially a lot of the higher car two row videos they're not for the Atlanta market. They're for, and also I'm not going to talk to anyone who's a social media kind of star. Um, Cause essentially if they're doing well on social media, they're getting money from other places more so than their primary business. So I'm not really going to be talking about them, but if you want to sign up for the art of holding the links below the price hasn't gone up and I will see you guys in the next one.